Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. We are looking at Richard's little Mini Mac 35 here. And he sent it to me indicating that it would just sit there and leak gas on him out of the muffler. And I totally wish that would log in. Beside the point. Uh, totally understand why now, but it was a pain in the ass to find. So I took the whole thing apart, cleaned it up. One thing I found at first, that is the engine bought mounting boss for right under here. So it appears that a screw that was too long was in put in there and it just separated this completely. So there's not a lot I can do about that. I'm going to quote Jack Nicholson from Mars Attacks and say two out of three ain't bad. If you haven't seen Mars Attacks or it's been a while, go watch the movie. That's after they just vaporized Congress that he says that. Anyway, uh, yeah, this engine boss down here, this mounting point up here, they're still good. So I've got them good and tight. I would just say you're going to have to keep an eye on them. Uh, but I got it apart, got it cleaned up, good spark. Started going through the carburetor, and I could not get this thing to hold pressure, no matter what I did. And I finally, after a second try of cleaning the inlet needle seat, found a, uh, there's a hairline crack in that little, it looks like a brass insert that's in there. It's not the actual aluminum or pot metal, whatever this is. I think it's aluminum. But it's not, the seat isn't in that. There's an actual brass insert and there's a little hairline crack that I can see off the seat coming up. And it's enough that you pump to 12 PSI and you're at zero again in about 30 seconds. So especially on a warm saw, I could see where that damn carb would make all kinds of a mess. Coincidentally, that saw that I bought for parts to do the coil uh, on that little eager beaver happened to have a Zama carb on it that I just had to wait for a carb kit to come in for. So, this thing is back in running shape. Let's take a listen. This won't be a cold start, obviously. Just fine, maybe a little too much. I don't think I am gonna just turn that screw in a turn or so. So this style of clutch is very noisy. You could hear that on the video, I'm sure, uh, because it rides on the carrier right there, and after a while, you just get a little bit of slop in there. Nothing broken, there's nothing wrong with it, there's no reason to replace it. It just is what it is. So, at an idle, especially with nothing on here, it's going to be a little bit noisy, but most of the time this thing ought to have a, a bar and chain on it, so it won't be any big deal at all. So anyway, this is the first time I've run it. I got that carb kit in the mail yesterday, so rebuilt it this morning. Um, so yeah, I'll do the normal, let this thing sit for a couple days, do one more cold start, but Richard, I think she's good to go.